Hey guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm going to be playing Mega Modded. So it's not a different mods. We've got like Stardew Valley Expanded, Ridgeside Village, uh, the Tractor mod. There's lots of different ones that we'll see. Not too crazy, no more than like 10. I think Expanded and Ridgeside will give us so much more to do. And I've never actually done them before, like at all. So I'm really interested to see what they include and what's new and what else there is to do. We've also got this Grandpa's Farm, which is apparently different in some kind of way. Looks like there's shortcuts, different landmarks, and secrets to discover. It's really interesting. We've got the same character as normal, the name, we've got the mod meadow, as we've got so many mods, and then our favourite thing is mods. Um, I'm going to watch the intro to see if it has changed, but if it hasn't, then I'm just going to skip straight into the game. We're here, so let's get started. Start with our usual parsnip seeds. I don't think you'll necessarily notice a difference right at the start, but... You know, we know how to start the game. 26 villagers we have to meet, so that will be interesting. Um, I forgot how to pick up a bed for a second then, so let's just do the usual stuff that we always do. Um, we've got a cutscene already. No, we don't. It just took a little while to load. So you can see that like, the layout of the farm is a bit different. You can, like, the trees are different. The grass is different. I'm excited to explore this farm that we have, because apparently the farm is different. But for now, I'm just going to get some mixed seeds. Need to chop down a tree for some chests as well. So I'm going to start harvesting all of this grass. And it looks like we've already accessed the cutscene. I'm not even sure where I am. I think I'm at the bus stop. So let's watch the cutscene and see what happens. Sheesh, Lenny, not too loud now. What if someone heard you? They might find out about me and. Chill, Lulu. No one cares. Anyways, I gotta go. Still got lots of paperwork left. Real nice if you just saddle me with all that, by the way. Stop calling me that, and it's your own fault for procrastinating all the time. Because I have no idea who Lenny is. No can do, Lulu. It's my right as your big sister. Anyways, gotta go. Gotta catch the cable car before it fills up. There we go, now we know who it is. Take care now. Okay. Yes. What? Hello. Oh, uh, nice seeing you. So how much of that did you hear? Ugh, Lenny. True. We hate Lenny. We hate Lenny. That was Lenny, my older sister. She came by to give me Ridgeside Village's financial report from last year. So Ridgeside is another mod we have. Ridgeside Village? Oh, your grandpa never told you. Out there are neighbours in the mountains to the west. You can use the cable car to head up there if you'd like to visit. That cable car is a marvel of engineering. Who knows how they paid for it. I did hear that someone in the village has, has close ties to the governor. Oh no. Is that good or bad? Anyway, do, do go visit when you have the time. A part of their tourism revenue goes to Pelican Town, you know. We share. I better get back to town. Goodbye now. Farewell. And there's a lot of different things. I haven't done anything just yet. I was looking at the Ridgeside Village, huh? I should visit sometime soon. The one thing I was looking at is this. And there's obviously different characters. And Morris is apparently a character you can get hearts with. And you've got different like, animation or different sprites for these characters. But you can kind of tell who they are. Um, another thing was you can date the wizard, and the wizard has green hair. Um, anyone else? And a bunch of these random characters that you can also date. I have no idea who those are, but I'm sure we'll meet them. But as you can see, there's so many. One of them, yeah, some of them are locked. I don't know what, what that means. I guess we can't access them just yet. But yeah, this is where I am. I don't know even how I got to the bus stop from here. This is above the house. And it looks like this, we already have nice house for our pet. But I'm just going to keep siphon and then try not to get any more cutscenes because I just want to get some mixed seeds to get them planted down. So I'm over at the bat cave, fruit cave kind of thing over here. And so we've got a nice little waterfall where we can even fish. And we've got this uh, mod where you can see the fish. And it looks like it's just sunfish. Oh, and smallmouth bass as well, which is pretty cool. We don't have a fishing rod yet. And it looks like there's a meteor up there. But I don't know how we get across this water. So there's so much to do. I'm so lost. The goal, there isn't really a goal. Um, obviously, did a community center. I don't, I don't know if I will get perfection or not, just because. Um, but it takes so long, and I don't like getting 10 million because it's just uh, hard some ancient fruit. Unless I find a new way to get money, maybe there's new crops or something. But I might. I want to catch every fish. I, I, I genuinely enjoy fishing, so that'll probably be one of the goals. Yeah, it looks like I'm stuck here. This seems just. I don't know what this place is. So let's always head to the cup and keep siphoning in. So I'm going to head over to Pierre's now. It looks like there's two different ways I can go to the bus stop. One to the right of my house and one above my house. And another thing I will be needing is forageables. I think I'm going to sell them straight to Pierre for the money. 
It looks like, I don't know, what is up here? Um, can we read the sign? Maybe the sign. Warning, please secure your horse in the horse compartment. We don't want another Pegasus incident for Linny. And we also have, this cart looks broken, better not touch it. That might be the mine cart. Oh, and this is where we go to protect it, it's just a little cart. I don't want to do it today just because I do want to get these parsnips down. I think we should still play normally the first couple of days. Um, and we obviously will keep getting mixed seeds. But we want to play normally just so we make money. And money means we can completely fully explore everything that we actually want to. It looks like there's wine and juice just chilling on the floor as well. We can't pick it up which is a bit sad. We could have made quite a decent amount of money from selling that wine and juice. But that's okay. So let's head to Pierre's. And um, we've seemed to have walked into a new villager, Kenneth. You're the new resident of the valley. Lenny said you'd likely be stopping by. Nice to meet you. I'm Kenneth, Ridgeside Village's own electrician. Hope you're doing well. It looks like... Where am I stuck? Why can't I go up? Alright, move out of the way. Um, looks like Pierre's got his own farm as well at the back of his house. Unless this is Harvey's, but I assume it's Pierre's. Question mark here. I think this is always here, right? Court's birthday, I have no idea who Court is. Morris's birthday, there are so many birthdays. How am I meant to know what to give them? Like, I know like the basic villagers. Well, this person has two, this 14th has two birthdays, so is this one. So, so I don't know where to find Court, so I'm not too worried about it the first year. I think first year, who is this? This is Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. So I've got like a mod that like changes the outfits based on like, the season and stuff, which is why some are unrecognizable, but like obviously, very obviously, Abigail, Caroline, Pierre. Pierre looks a little bit different in his animation there. Um, so I'm happy to sell the leeks. I should probably have got more forageables as well. Check the forest before I came here. Let's just buy the seeds guaranteed just to make sure. Um, um, we didn't make a chest either because we don't have storage space. So I think I want to... The, I'm going to do only parsnips. And then hopefully the mixed seeds give me the cauliflower, potato and uh, bean for... Oh, and the bean for the um, community center. But we also have remixed bundles on community center, so we won't be seeing stuff that we normally do. It's kind of a bit randomized, but I don't think it'll be too randomized as in... Wait, this Haley's house doesn't have a bin. That's interesting as well. Uh, now we're at the farm. So, so now there's lots of grass. Marnie's got some beans as well. It doesn't look like there's any actual like grass here that we can scythe for mixed seeds. It looks like it's all full grass, which is good for hay, but I don't need hay at the moment. So I'll just check for forageables and then head back to Pierre's if I get any and then sell them. It looks like I've also found, I assume, the greenhouse, but it's a lot of like, some stumps, so we can't get there. But the greenhouse is broken anyway, so I don't know why I would want to get there. I think this is blocked off as well, I can't get through that one. So this is kind of to the left of the farm. I don't really know how to explain it. Like the farm looks like it's just absolutely massive. It doesn't look like there's much planting area though. Because realistically, the only place I can plant is this big plot here, which is decent size. I'm happy with it. But like, where would all the all of the barns and stuff go? All the buildings. But who knows? So let's just get all of these seeds planted down now. I head to bed now. It is light. We did get everything planted and watered, except I think one mixed seed, which is fine. And um, we didn't level up our foraging to level one, which is the only thing that I would have wanted to do. But we do have the guaranteed rainy day tomorrow, which is absolutely wonderful. And check the mail as well. I'll keep finding cool stuff. This is Pierre selling his backpack. And then Willie wanting us to meet him at the boat for his fishing rod. So let's chop down another tree to hopefully get enough wood for um, a chest. Before we go get our fishing rod, let's water all of these. We'll be having to do this every day, which is not the worst thing in the world. We might as well get this last mix seed done as well. I don't think you can get mixed seeds from, you can get beans from mixed seeds because I didn't get any, I did get the potato and cauliflower though. So maybe I'll have to go buy a green bean from Pierre. Um, the only way I'm going to be able to do that I think will be if I can manage to get um, a forageable, which should be the hardest thing in the world, I should be able to at least find one. So we've got our first quest on our quest board and it is Leo wanting a parsnip, which we can't do as it won't be grown in time. But I did manage to find a daffodil and a leek. So let's sell those, well, let's just sell the leak and that'll give us enough for a bean. And then let's go get our fishing rod. Our energy is very low, um, how low is it actually 10? Which is fine because we can just fish once and then eat the fish that we do get. Unless we get like algae or seaweed, but I guess we can eat these as well. So let's go get our fishing rod and then head to the mountain lake as that is the best place to 
uh, to make money whilst fishing. So we've made it to the mountain lake. Let's put down our chest. I also managed to find some seashells, a mussel, a conch, and a clam whilst uh, at the beach. I've never seen a conch before. That must be something new as well. But we can see all the fish we can get, but we pretty much know all of these kinds of fish. We've got the bull head, the carp, the chub, the largemouth bass. I think there's one more as well that you can get from here. I didn't see it. Um, and a whole bunch of trash. But we'll just keep fishing pretty much until the end of the day. Our first fish was a fish, I thought, but our first catch was a fish, so we'd be able to eat this to get more energy. Um, sunfish, there we go, that is the last fish that we can get. I don't know why we can't see sunfish. Um, okay, that was not a lot of energy at all. <laughs> Barely enough, not enough energy to even do a second cast. So hopefully we get some chubs and stuff. But we're mainly doing this just to, for money and to level up our fishing so we can do, mm, sell the fish for more. Another thing I've noticed whilst fishing is that down here you can see the legend, which is one of the legendary fish, which is pretty cool to see. And another one is that there's some kind of fish. Can't find it right now. There's a new fish somewhere, it's very little. Or it might be this. Uh, you see this fish here? It's so small and it's definitely not a chub, unless it's like a baby chub, but I think they do like which I haven't encountered yet, but it's cool to see new fish like that. So I do like fishing, so hopefully we get lots of new fish of all different kinds of difficulty. And um, we can get the treasure chest as well, once this fish is in like the green. Um, I don't know what kind of fish this is, it's actually moving a decent amount. It's not a hard fish, but it's just because our bubble is so small. We do get the chest, now we'll have to just get the fish, and then we'll see what's inside this chest. If it wants it to stop moving, I think it's got to be a large mouth that's right, it's moving a lot. Um, oh, it's just a chub, well. And the chest has given us some mixed seeds and coal. So we have passed out, which is fine. Um, we did get quite a lot of fish, but we did end up eating quite a lot of them as well because of just needing them for energy. We got level 1 foraging from chopping down trees, which made us unlock wild seeds, and trees sometimes drop seeds and a field snack. Level 1 fishing, level 2 fishing, which is pretty good. We need to get to level 5 if we want to sell our fish for even more than what we normally do. So now we've made it onto day 3. It is a guaranteed rainy day. Uh, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. That's a lie because I got ore from fishing. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Okay, Clint, we know what happens. He gives us the recipe for furnace. It is raining. It looks like someone's been eating my seeds, so we do need a scarecrow. But we haven't unlocked a scarecrow. Oh, what can you do? Let's put the green bean down here. Okay, that one's still got one. So it's just one seed that has been munched on. Another thing I do want to do is um, get Caroline to two hearts, because I think doing the way of crafting tea saplings for money is pretty good. So I, I want to give daffodils to her for um, friendship, as it is a liked gift. Line has found us, so we didn't lose any money, even though we have none. So I think we just head over and fish in the river today. Is there anything else we need to do? I don't think so. The river has a chance to cut fish, which are really good for our money. And friendship? Oh, we don't have a chest, though. So I think maybe we should rid of all of our tools just to give us even extra space. So all of this can go, we'll keep the hoe in case we see artifact spots, as well as the rocks. So let's go give this to Caroline and then fish in the river. We managed to get a dried starfish from an artifact, which means we can give that to Anfa. I was just down here because uh, the shop hasn't opened yet, so I assume Caroline, we can't even get to Caroline. The thing I, we obviously need is upgrading our fishing rod, which is 1800. So one thing we can do is get all of the like shells and stuff and any fish and hopefully get 1800 from that. And I did also see Morris doing something over here. Can we speak to him? Morris, Farmer Sinamic, welcome to the valley. My name is Morris, manager of Jojo Mart. If you need cheap quality seeds, then there's no better place than Jojo Mart. 50% off coupons, come get them while they last. Okay, so... Is, is that a thing we can actually do, or is he just saying that? We could try and head over there now and see. I've never actually tried shopping. We've got a lost book, which is pretty rubbish. Um, we could try heading over there now. And this is a new house. I don't know how, whose house that is. What's normally there? Is it an empty space? I think it might be. See, it doesn't open until 10, but he does close at 10 as well. So he's open for 12 hours, whilst Pierre is only open for 9, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's good to trash. Uh, trash cans as well. 
Wait, what did the sign say? Jenkins. I don't know who they are, but new villagers, I assume. So we'll just keep waiting. I think I do want to check the trash because if it gives us any kind of energy boost, then that would be pretty cool. So let's check this one and then and we'll go find Caroline. If she's in her room, then that will be kind of it sucks. But we could have actually fished whilst we waited. Oh, it's a Wednesday. Okay, well, I forgot about that. We're just going to have to keep fishing in. And I hope we find some catfish, which we can see, as well as some small bass. And is that it? There's got to be more than just the catfish. Oh, and shads, or chads, shads, as well. Yeah, these guys. It's only three fish, it looks like, but I'm sure there's more. Okay, so we'll keep fishing until we find some catfish for some good money, and just level up our fishing skill in general. Pass that again. Nothing really to show at all, just more fishing over and over again. No catfish, which is fine. I don't really know why people go for them anyway. I think it's just XP and money. Um, level 3 fishing. We do need level 5, but I don't think we'll get it in time for potatoes. So maybe we can get it in time for strawberries, which isn't better. We do have a lot of parsnips as well anyway, as an, and mixed seeds. So it is a rainy day tomorrow, which is actually very lucky. Um, someone ate my parsnips again. I've got some new items, deluxe fishing pole, that's actually what we're going to go buy today, and Lion has found us again, and then, uh, you might need some more space someday, that's just about expanding my house. So I'm going to water these, they will be ready tomorrow, and then I'm going to try and give uh, Caroline her gift, and then we're going to sell as much of this stuff as possible as well because we are going to upgrade our fishing pole which costs 1800 and we should have enough if we sell fish so let's give caroline our first gift which is a death deal oh goodness are you sure so now we have now met her so we could actually get a chance of getting quests and um, two hearts is going to take a while because obviously you can only give two gifts a week. So we need to make sure we keep checking the quest board with the hope of getting quests from there. And we do actually have a quest at the moment for Clint, uh, which is to bring him a carp for 90 gold. And carps do usually sell for 30 each. So we're getting triple the price that we would actually normally get from selling a carp. So I might as well do that. And then I'll sell the rest of the fish to Willy directly and then buy the new rod and any bait with leftover money. So I've sold all the fish. We can now afford the fiberglass rod. And if I sell these fish as well, I can then spend the rest of the money on some. It should be very useful. And then this rod, we can just bin. And this one, we can't sell the conch for some reason. I'm not sure why. It says that I can hear the ocean if I use it, but I cannot. Um, so let's go keep fishing. I think we go back up to the mountain lake. We could fish in the ocean for new fish, but they're all reasonably easy. There's no hard fish to get in spring. Um, so we'll worry about that later. And I think we mainly can do that in year two, as long as we get all the ones for the community center. Then it'll be great. And now we don't need to sell fish anymore. So once the community center is unlocked, we should be able to get um, to know which ones we need. I've never done the remix bundles before, so I have no idea what to expect. I think it's just kind of like some are different, some I think majority of them are the same. I remember when we unlocked the community center. Can we go in there today? No. There is a new villagers everywhere. Everywhere I go, there's a new villager. I have no idea where any of them stay. Oh, hello. I don't know everyone in the valley, but are you new? It was nice to meet you. I just finished graduate school for clinical psychology. I'm living at a hotel for now. Huh? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. My name is Floor. Nice to meet you. Her name is Floor. Flo, Floor. Hi. You're the new farmer who just moved in, right? I'm Ian. It's good to meet you. I live over over in Ridgeside Village. Generally, I just work for whoever asks and can pay a good fee. That can include you, of course. I wonder what we can make him do for us. That is actually pretty... Sounds pretty useful, but I don't know if it actually is. Um, so it does look like not every single villager um, actually lives here. Some do come down from the, tri uh, the cable car and come visit, which is interesting. It's nice to know. But for now, I'm just going to keep fishing once again, and then parsnips are ready for tomorrow. Day four, passed out fishing again. Didn't get to level five fishing, which is kind of just a big bummer. There's really nothing we could have done. We were very close. Uh, my fault for not getting perfects, but we did get like 10 trash in a row, which just wasted like two hours of the game, but that's fine. Um, we do have enough to actually sell to Willy. We're going to sell some and then sell the parsnips as well to Pierre. Because um, 
we need that's like kind of keeps eating all the parsnips. We need to uh, uh, buy as many potatoes as we can just for extra money. Which would be kind of a bummer to uh, water all of them, but that is a okay with me. I think today is just going to be trying to get all of these guys and um, all of these guys planted. We don't have to worry about watering them. My name is Susan. Lewis told me you're a new farmer in town. I'm I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. Hopefully the mess Jojo made will be cleared out soon because I'm going a little stir crazy. Can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up. There was the lady messed up on... Uh, there was the meteor covering something. So that might be it up there, I assume. But like, there's no way I'm breaking a meteor anytime soon. So she's going to have to be waiting. Um, Morris found us. We have no money, so there's no fee. And then our team members who removed the landslide caused by a drilling operation in the mountain lake. So this is for the mines, I'm assuming. Um, we also have the tractor mod. So I'm kind of intrigued about how much the tractor is. Because I've never done it before, so I don't even know how, you know how we get it, if we have to buy it or whatever. But let's check out the travelling cart first. And then sell fish to Willy. Willy isn't open just yet, so I'm just going to fish a couple fish here until it reaches 9 o'clock. It's raining, so I do think like eels and stuff are meant to spawn in this in summer. Or it's a certain time, I think. I don't think any of these fish are from raining. A uh, new achievement, which is fisherman. I don't know what I did. I caught a seaweed, so maybe it's like catching different items. I've caught like 10 different types of things from the ocean, from the water. So we got 1,000 from Willy, which is pretty good. And then I caught one fish, which had a treasure chest and gave me a rare disc. So whilst I'm here, I might as well go and donate to Gunther. Maybe he'll give me some cash for doing his quest of speaking to him. And then we'll sell the parsnips to Pierre. So the museum looks a lot different. It's kind of like overcrowded. I'm not sure if I like it, but it's all right. Um, it looks like there's also glass cases on the uh, the places where you can donate, which is pretty cool. I think um, a majority of museums actually have that, so it does make sense. And we get 250 gold for donating something, so we'll definitely be taking that. So we can sell all of our parsnips for about a thousand as well. And uh, I don't think we need to buy anything else, obviously. Like our last series, we did start buying a load of stuff for like recipes and stuff, but it's only year one and we can worry about all of that in year two. So I don't think I need any of this. Just, I think all I want is potatoes. The potatoes are quite a good thing to do next. Six days. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it'll be ready two days before when we can get strawberries. This looks pretty good to me. So we could actually buy the potatoes tomorrow after we've sold the fish. Which I think I'd rather actually do. If we plant them here, they'll take six days. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we sell them. And then the next day... Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Okay, let's do that. Let's... What's that? Let's continue fishing today. And then we'll buy seeds tomorrow. And that also means we don't have to water them tomorrow as well. So oh, no, we will have to water them because we'll buy them tomorrow. But today we'll fish in the river again to hopefully get some more fish. And I head to bed now. Uh, it's nice and early. Well, it's not early, but we don't have to pass out. We've got all the fish in our chest on the farm, so we can head over to Willy's now. And now we can make a scarecrow. So we want the fisher to, so we can sell our fish up, sell our fish for twenty-five percent more. And then we should be able to head to Willy's and then do that, and then spend all of our money on potato seeds for even more money for the egg festival. Where we'll get strawberry seeds. I think that is a good plan to have. That is the usual plan, what we do every single time. Because it seems to be the best way to do it. But the game is taking a very long time to load because of all the mods, I can only assume. Um, but for now, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Uh, a nice new series. I don't think it'll be long as the last one, but obviously at the same time it is expanded. So there's a lot more to do. But I don't think I'll be going for completion just because there's so many different parts of completion that aren't actually fun. And obviously expanded has 10 times more things to do so it'll take 10 times just as long so we'll have our own little goals as we go and just stop playing when we don't feel like playing anymore but this series will also be uploaded daily just like the last series so please remember to subscribe so you'll get a notification when that next episode comes out tomorrow so thank you for watching and goodbye